In this video, you will see the importance of dryer vents and the different things that we go through on a day-to-day -day in the laundromat business. It's very important to make customer service first and foremost in this industry. Hospitality is everything when you are running a laundromat. So keep that in mind when you walk into a laundromat and you see that someone might have a bad day. You might see kids running around on carts. Just know that we try our best to make sure that the experience they have is a good one when they come here to do laundry. Well, here we are with Erica. Erica, what, what are you getting ready to do here? I'm getting ready to clean the lint traps on the dryer. And can you tell me the importance of doing that on each shift and how many times per day we are supposed to do it? You're supposed to do it twice a day. And the reason why we do it is because they can catch fire. And it also causes the clothes to dry inefficiently yeah. as well. Now we're going to talk about this key. This key, we have thousands of them. And the reason why is because the attendants don't like to do it easy and they break off into the dryers. So therefore, we have to give them another one. So what you want to do is you want to put it in nice and easy and then pull up, pull down. And then what you do is you just take this and just clean it all up. Usually I get a broom to do the big ones. You just want to get all that out of there. So here in the warehouse, we actually don't need keys. We can actually make these to where you don't have to use a key to access the dryer vent. Um, however, we do have people that are cross-trained from the actual stores to the warehouse, so we want it to be compatible to both in-store and warehouse. So we'll go ahead and empty the smaller ones. And these have already been done once today. Sometimes in the warehouse, we actually do it three times a day because we do get a lot of towels, et cetera, that actually makes a lot more lint than like regular blue jeans. Erica had just returned this week. She was on vacation. So I helped out to go to some different stores and inspect in the mornings. So this is just two examples of what an employee did not do that they were supposed to do. This is from one individual store and this is from the next. We're supposed to empty these dryer vents at the end of shift. So obviously if it was there before the first customer came in, that wasn't done. Once again, I just want to repeat the importance of cleaning out the lint. It is a definite fire hazard, plus your customer's clothes will not dry efficiently. Upon going into another store to inspect while Erica was on vacation, I enter the store and I see this. Effective immediately. You must be inside by 8.30 and remain inside. There will be no re-entry. It's handwritten in a plastic sleeve. And they did take the time, however, to put it in Spanish, which I appreciate the effort, but that's not how we do things. How we do things is we put nice, neat, printed signage out so that it's professional. Last wash, doors lock at 8.30, no re-entry after 8.30 because the doors do automatically lock. And the reason why we do this, it's for security, for safety, not only for our employees, but for the customer's safety as well. <laughs> Have you ever walked into the laundromat and seen people Bye. argue over buggies? Bye. That happens. Have more than two buggies available. Have many to support the washers and dryers you have for your customers. It's not fun to carry your clothes from the washer to the dryer and you drop everything on the floor and then your clothes aren't clean anymore. Have you ever been in the laundromat where you're almost denealed by the cart? Well, children and will play with the baskets and parents just are busy doing laundry and don't watch their kids. In an effort for good customer service, if that happens to a customer, give them some dry time, maybe start a washer for them, just give them good customer service. Have you ever been in a laundromat and you have a mean attendant to tell 
the kids to get off the table, off the laundry table. Well, that's not the way we operate. We want to be nice and cordial to the families who come in our laundromat. This is a task. This is a hard thing to bring in a bunch of children to do laundry. And these moms and these dads, they work very hard throughout the day and then just to come in here and do laundry. It sucks. But the way you approach people, don't just tell them to get off the table. Let the parent tell them to get off the table. Last thing anybody wants is for someone else to tell their kids how to behave. That's a no-no. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, unless you see them in direct trouble or, or you see a safety uh, issue that could hurt the child, you could, but be nice. You have to, it's the way you approach people. We're about hospitality. Hospitality is about what we're about. We, you need to make ho hospitality unbelievable. So, with that being said, we don't put a bunch of do not signs throughout the laundromat on purpose because they're not going to pay attention to those anyway. And you're not going to be, sure, sure, you're going to walk up, you're going to see a kid just jump on a table. It's not your responsibility to take care of that child. They're going to jump in baskets. They're going to do, they're going to do things. But we want to try to make this a fun, inviting atmosphere for everyone. And if you have an attendant that does not know how to deal with the public and you haven't trained them properly, you're going to have nothing but uncontrolled chaos. And that's not what we want. We want happiness, people that make this a happy experience. Erica, you're a manager. You've been with us how many years? Gosh, Going ten, on six years. Six years. And you ran the Waller Avenue store, so you've, you've ran across a lot of customers. And what's the worst experience? Have you ever been cussed out, by the way? Oh, yeah, plenty of times. And how do you, how do you handle that? I'll just tell them, okay, well, have a good day, and I hope you have a good experience, and come back and see us. <laughs> well, well, I, don't, I want to uh, say uh, the more stuff, but I have to keep my job and be professional, so I can't really do that. So. And it's, it's hard. You have to have a backbone when you work here. Yeah. You have to have a backbone in any customer service industry, and that's what I call this, a customer service industry. It's not about you personally, and you never know what the customer has gone through before they got there. Now, I know in particular, you have one customer that cussed you out and she wanted to come back in the store. She was too embarrassed to come back in the store and she came back and apologized to you. Yes. How'd that go? And I let her come back. I told her, that's fine. Just don't disrespect me or my customers and we'll be okay. And people can have a bad day and we're not here to, to, judge, anybody. to judge anyone. So believe me it's bad enough you have to go in there and do laundry mm -hmm. nobody wants to do laundry so we try to make it as fun as possible is that right yeah yeah i talk to all my customers i love all my customers ever wonder how much lint weighs at the end of the day out of your dryers let's check and see one bag two bag so we've got our two bags of lint on the floor scale here three pounds of lint in conclusion I hope you enjoyed this video and learned some things about what happens on a day to day in the laundromat industry. It's very important to clean out these vents because a fire is the last thing you want and it doesn't matter the brand of the, of the dryer, you have to clean out the vents. And it's very important when you have an attended laundromat, keep an eye on your surroundings. Be nice. If you can't be nice, walk away.